This video is a clip of a longer video where I show how to create this motion graphic scene from scratch. Click the card or the link below to check it out. Okay, so we have our gradient. Now let's add some text. So I can either come up to add and then text, or if I hover my mouse over the sequencer, I can press shift A and then add text. And then G to grab and then Y to constrain it up and down so it doesn't move left and right. So just like with the color strips, you'll find that all the text properties and options over here on the side. If you don't see this area, again, make sure you press N on the keyboard. But this area is a little bit too small and you can see if I scroll down through it, there are lots of options. So let's fix this so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna come up here to the corner of this section, which is the properties. And when you see those crosshairs, click and drag and pull down. And it will cut across into the sequencer, creating space for itself. Now cutting across other areas like this is a newer feature in Blender. Currently I'm using version 3.3.2. I don't exactly remember when it was implemented, but this is the version I'm using. So next, let's hover our mouse over in the corner again and click and drag up to duplicate this area. And then we'll change this area with this icon and then choose video sequencer. Let's close the channels portion and then open up the properties over on the right. You may also have to adjust the width of this area by clicking and dragging where you see the double arrows and pull this out. And now you can see the same sequencer properties that we have over here, just in a bigger area. So if I hover my mouse over the sequencer, I can press N to collapse that. And now we have a little bit more room to work with. So make sure you're on the strip tab and we can look at all these options. The first one of course is the text where I can write Merry Christmas. We have the font, which I'll get to a little bit later. Click and drag and adjust the size. We can adjust the color. We have the shadow, which we can ch check on and change the color and the opacity. We can also put it in a box and change the box margin. And we can also change the box color and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna uncheck all of those for now. And then we have the location of the text. And let's see what this is doing. If we come up here and turn on the overlays with this button, you'll see the origin right in the center of the text. And if I move the layout location, you can see the text moving, but the origin and the text strip container doesn't move. And this is in contrast to moving the entire container along with the origin. So if you come down to transform and you change these positions, you see that you're actually moving the entire container and text with it. And the same thing with the Y position of just the text versus the entire container. So that's how that works. I'm just gonna put these back at 0.5, which is directly in the center. And then we got the anchor, which is our justification. So we got left justification, center, or right justified. And same thing with the Y. We have the top, the bottom, and the center alignment. And then back down here, we have our scale and our rotation. And we can also move the origin by itself. And so now the container is not moving, but the origin is. And the origin will affect the rotation. So if the origin is in the center, it rotates around the center. But if I move the origin somewhere else, then you can see the effect that the rotation has on that. You can also move things in the preview window with Blender's regular transform options. If you press G, you can grab and move, S to scale, and R to rotate. And that's just the same as moving these sliders over here. I'm gonna put the origin back to 0.5. And if I come up over here to the left, I can open these tools up. And if I hold this button here, I can choose between tweak and select box. So select box is just what it says. You just click and drag and you drag a box to select. But if I change it to tweak, I can just click and drag whatever I have selected straight away. And you can see the text on top in the preview because it's on the top channel of all of our strips, which means it's in the top layer of the preview. And if you move and scale and rotate anything and you wanna get it back to its original position, it's very easy. Alt-R will clear the rotation, Alt-S will clear the scale, and Alt-G will clear the location. So let's scroll back up here and look at the wrap width. If I adjust this and I pull this down, you can see that Merry Christmas now is wrapped. So it's as if you have these imaginary borders on the sides that are squeezing in and now the text has to wrap around in order to fit. Now this only works with words. It doesn't break up the words in individual letters. Uh, this is more obvious if we add more text. 
So if we add and a happy new year, you can see how this is wrapping around. And if we adjust the wrap width, the larger the wrap width is, the more room that the sentence has to display itself and will be on one line longer before it wraps. But there is a really big limitation with this wrap width, and that is you don't have the option to align this. So even though we have our anchor points at center, it's still aligning the text like it's left justified. And you can't change that. There's no option to change that. We have to break this up into different text strips. And so I'm going to delete our extra text, go back to Merry Christmas, and then I'm going to take the text and duplicate it. And for the top one, I'm going to keep Merry, and for the bottom one, I'm going to keep Christmas. And then I'm going to take the Christmas text, and I can either move the layout location of just the text, or instead, what I'm going to do is hover my mouse over the preview, press G and then Y to constrain it up and down, and just move it down a little bit. If I press X, it will constrain it left and right, but I'm going to press Y and move it down just a little bit. So if I wanted to add a Happy New Year, I could duplicate these two. And then I can select both of these here, G and then Y to grab and move them down. And now I can select Mary here and then choose the anchor as left justified. So it aligns it to where the origin is now left of the text. And so now I can do it to the rest of these, but instead of doing them one at a time, I can do all of them by shift selecting all of them and then selecting Mary last. And you can see all of them are selected, but Mary is the one that's active. And you can tell because the selected ones are in an orange outline while the active one is in a white outline. And the active selection is what you see over here in the properties. So you can see the text says Mary, but if I press and hold shift and select Christmas, you can now see the Christmas strip is active and you see Christmas over here in the options. So let's go back to Mary because we wanna use these settings to apply to the rest of them. So with the anchor on left, I can right click and then choose copy to select it. And we now have all of them having the anchor on the X as left, or in other words, left alignment or left justified. I can do the same thing if I do right justified, just changed Mary and then right click, copy to selected. And now they're all right justified. And then to center text, we can choose center and right click, copy to select it and now they're all centered. Now let's just say all of these are in a different location. If they're all over the place in different locations, we can still choose to center all of them above or below anything that we choose. But remember, if we move the whole container, we have to use these options down here. But if we just move the text, we have to use the layout of the text location over here. And so if we choose Christmas as what we want everything centered to, make sure Christmas is active, and we're going to use the X position because X is left and right. So now we can click and drag a box over all four of these strips. And since Christmas is the active one, we can come over to the X position, right click, and choose copy to select it. Now all of them are centered on the X axis. And all we have to do is click each of them and press G and then Y to move them up and down on the Y axis, just like that. And then we can select all of them and then move them over to wherever we want. You can find this video and a whole lot more by going to my new website, blenderfrenzy.com, where you can access lots of free and members only content, including extra tutorials, downloads, assets, blend files, Q&A live streams, and much more. Signing up helps support me, which in turn gives you more Blender content, so head on over to blenderfrenzy.com and become a member today.